what we have seen so far is initial phase, as we rightly pointed out, we are in the initial phases of day 7 to day 10, whatever cases of Omicron, because there is no genomic study available across the world. What we are indirectly implicating from the routine PCR, the SGN resort, they call as probable Omicron. I can suggest only probable Omicron. It's not so, can I interrupt you there and ask you to uh, explain this S gene? Because that is another thing that is floating around. So what exactly is this? How do we find out if it's Omicron? Usually the PCR kits, if you do a swab test for your COVID, they do by PCR. It's called polymerase chain reaction method. Yeah. They check three genes mainly. One is called the E gene, that's for the screening, whether the virus is coronavirus or non-coronavirus. Following E gene, they need to confirm with two more genes to check whether this is SARS-CoV-2 or some other viruses. For that, they use multiple genes. One gene is called N, other is called ORF, third is called S, and some lab use RDRP gene. These are all the four common genes people are using it. E gene is a screening tool, and subsequently these things are using N, ORF, RDRP and yes. Okay. Most of the time in COVID, for example, in Delta, all the genes will be present. It'll show present, present, present. But as far as Omicron is concerned, the E gene is positive, the N gene will test it positive, ORF positive, even RDRP is positive. But S gene, if you see, is missing. S gene not detected will come. So that indicate probable Omicron. We not confirm it. We need to confirm by genomic sequencing to see entire structure. But this is a shortcut for you to see whether the virus is Omicron or not by looking at that gene called S gene in the report. But most of the labs, they don't have the kit. Initially in 2020, March, they started doing this kit. But unfortunately, they changed the kit to the new kit that doesn't contain the S gene. They contain other two genes, N and ORF. So it's very difficult with standard lab. For example, now Apollo, we do this S gene also. So we can be able to tell whether you can have probable Omicron or it's it's not Omicron. Probable only I can put it. To confirm 100%, we need genomic sequencing one. So, so far, what we have seen with Omicron initial phases, day 7 to day 10, we are living it now. So far, the cases are only mild. But what sort of intuition I'm seeing? People who are vaccinated. Two doses they completed, I'm seeing with Omicron. Similarly, I have seen people with people with uh, previous infections, either the Delta virus or previous version, they got infected. Again, they got reinfected now. But I told you just now, I saw a CKD patient, chronic kidney disease patients, not vaccinated. On day four, day five of the illness, he still required oxygen. But the test was not done in our system. It was done outside. So I'm not sure whether it's a Delta or Omicron. But probably right now, across the world and across India, Omicron is going on. So Omicron will behave like a typical COVID for people who are not vaccinated. There are a lot of confusions. People say, this is cold. I want to get Omicron and get the immunity. Definitely no. People who got already infected, people who have taken two doses of vaccinations, if Omicron comes, for you, it might behave as a cold or it may behave as an upper respiratory tract infections. But people who are never infected, people who have never taken a vaccinations, this is COVID one. Don't call it Omicron, this is cold, I'm going to get immunity. No. Yeah. You, need to you need to suffer and you need to go for respiratory difficulties or ventilator or even death is also possible. Even WhatsApp being circulating. First death with Omicron happened in Rajasthan. A lot of circulations is happening. But one more concern why we need to worry about this Omicron. Even though this is not going to kill you, we have seen a lot of messages. Today also in Hindu paper, we see a lot of messages saying that cancellations. For example, some of the hospital workers are infected. No electric surgery is possible. Similarly, airlines are, airlines are canceling the flights because cabin crew are affected. So, so many cabin crew are affected. There's no person to run the flight. Similarly, so many hospital staff affected. None of them can operate for protein lactic cases. So this affects the services also, not only your death, but other essential services and whatever services we need. So many people affected at the same time, you can't get the same support. So you can't fly, you can't go to the electric surgeries, a lot of things, other implications we can call, not only the direct implications, these are indirect implications also. Omicron create a problem. And of late concern, the very last two days, some of the unauthorized reports only can put it. In Telegraph from US, they're showing that from UK, it shows oxygen requirements slightly going up in Delhi. So that's a real concern for us. Oxygen requirements slightly going up in Delhi hospitals, that's a real concern.